Hey everyone, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a difficult video for me to make. I've already tried to do it two other times and I couldn't even finish my last video that you guys saw, but I've collected a little bit more information and I feel absolutely obligated to tell you this heartbreaking story of uh, betrayal and trust completely vanished from a very well-known company and I'm going to be able to back that up with some pretty important facts here. So thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with, I don't want to cover Jax's face, Nomad Internet right here, link below in the video description if you need some mobile internet. Let's have a little chat here. So recently here on the channel, my beloved cat, Jax, of 11 years, all 11 years uh, spent on the road living in an RV with me, my, my, my best friend on the road from, he was, from the time he was six weeks old. He passed away quickly from complications of having hyperthyroidism. His organs were affected by this even though we had secured an appointment to get the I-131 treatment. Jax passed away. Um, and he had to be euthanized to finish that just two days before racing from Florida to Texas. Um, and so, uh, being on the road, you know, I, I was trying to get to Texas, but um, at 2.30 in the morning I had to race, we had to go to the nearest ER vet nearby, which was 40 minutes away in the middle of the night. And that was a, a really nice place in Niceville, Florida that took great care of us and rushed us in. And we had the doctor and two technicians in there to tell me that Essentially, Jax, Jax has already passed. He's only breathing and um, his heart's beating, but, but, but barely, and he needed a little bit of help. So I was there to hold his hand, his paw, when he crossed the Rainbow Bridge. And it's still fresh. Um, however, that company works with a, a, a fairly large company that helps with um, after your pet has passed. And that company is, is the main focus of this video right now. The reason why I have to make this video because you are not gonna believe, no one out there is gonna believe what I'm about to tell you and show you and, and prove to you. That company is Pet Angel. That company, I'm not gonna get into the whole trying to secure this package because that wasn't all their fault. There was some problems at Rainbows and escapees, but I had it, I picked it up and uh, they, they so at, at the place where they, they work with Pet Angel, the emergency vet um, had me pay for all the services ahead of time. So I paid for Jax's ashes and I actually picked out a, a cedar urn um, and I also picked out a nameplate and a custom engraved slogan, a little saying on that for Jax. I also added a couple things extra. I paid extra for Jax's hair, a little bit of his fur. And also, the most important thing and the main topic of this was an ink transfer of his front paw. Specifically, okay, making sure that we get that part clear. And in the directions, I got to pick which paw. And I specifically said his right front paw was the one I would like inked and put onto a special piece. More on that in just a moment. Um, the urn, the urn itself, I will, I will show you that real quick in case for reference, okay? It's a really pretty box. It is completely sealed. Sealed. You can't take the ashes out of a bag, t terrace plane with the bottom of the tripod there. But you can't, there's no way of knowing. It's a sealed box that's been screwed shut. It does have Jax Jacobs and the barcode there, okay? And <laughs> the nameplate, I guess, yeah, it's in here. The nameplate has a 3M tape on it, so you can stick it wherever you would like on the box, I guess, to customize it. But it is a nice piece. It says Jax, and it says the real YouTube star on it. I love that. Um, that's all great. Uh, they also sent us a card with his certification of cremation. There were three different cremations that you could pick from from this particular place. You could do a communal one, where pets are all cremated in the same. You can do an individual one, where they space them out with spacers, or you can do a private cremation, which is what I selected, which I think is the only way it should be done. But Jax was cremated all alone um, by himself in there. So his ashes are the only ones that are in here right now. Okay. We also got 
from Pet Angel. A little bag of Jax's fur, Jax's hair in there, and it says Pet Angel with their logo, their slogan, excuse me, built on trust. Built on trust, Pet Angel, with that barcode specific, Jax Jacobs. And then we get the most important piece, the piece that I've been looking forward to for a very long time, you know, more than a week now, Jax's paw print in ink right there. Jax Jacobs. To anyone else, you, you wouldn't question this. This is an original piece. It's even got some ink mixed down there. Problem is, this isn't Jax's right paw print. Or they amputated him post-mortem before they took this print because Jax does not just have four toes. Jax is a very unique polydactyl cat that has an extra thumb that sticks out from this that has three more toes. Jax has seven toes on each front paw. This is Jax's right front paw. No, it's not. When I, when I saw this picture as Jax's front paw, I had to email the company. And that's where I was at when I tried to finish my last video. I said... You know, I think we have a problem here. I didn't get Jax's paw print. I was supposed to get my cat's right front paw print, and um, I think I got somebody else's paw print. And they emailed me after I had edited the video together, emailed me back and replied, and uh, they had said that we need the barcode on the back. So I gave them the barcode on the back, which is actually the same exact barcode on the fur and the urn, okay? And within 30 minutes, I got an email back and said, absolutely, that is 100% Jax's front right paw. And then my heart sunk so, so deep. And I cried, and I cried, and I cried. And then I wrote an email back, and I wasn't very nice. And I said, well, we have a very big problem. I need to speak with the manager or the owner of this company immediately. Because that is not my cat's front paw, and we have a major problem. Here's my phone number. Ten minutes later, I got a phone call from a gentleman, and uh, he said, he said, uh, we always do front paw, but you're right. I'm looking at the records here from your, your order, and you did specify the right paw. Now, is Jax polydactyl on both paws? I'm like, yes, he is polydactyl on both paws. I just picked the right front. I think I got a generic paw print from you guys promising that this is his or it belongs to somebody else. And he said, you know, absolutely, that is not another cat. That is your cat. I'm like, come on, guys. I just caught you in a lie and this was really awkward for me. What's going on? And after a short pause, this manager said, Without admitting any guilt or wrongdoing, he said, I do believe that my technician, who will arrive in about one hour, but that technician dropped the ball. Quote, he dropped the ball taking care of Jax that night. And I can't do anything about it except have a talk with him. I can give you a full refund on your services. I can let you pick out anything else you'd like on our memorial store, PetAngelMemorialCenter.com. But um, we dropped the ball. And I said, wait, wait, what do you mean you dropped the ball? What did you do? This is, this is certified my cat's paw and it's not. Now, 999 times out of a thousand, no one would be able to say what I'm saying right now and be able to prove it, okay? Unless, like I said, you amputated my cat after he died and did this. This proves to me that I've been scammed, that there is fraud going on in the company that somebody is lying, that somebody is possibly there who works there, has a cat, and every night she brings her cat in and gets 10 of these cards and just goes ink, blot, ink, blot. All right, manager, I got 10 more to send out for the next. Just put the cat's stuff on the back and it'll be fine. And like I said, most of the time, no one would ever know that's really not your cat unless your cat is missing one of those toes or you have a polydactyl cat like me. Now... I am trying so hard to give this company the benefit of the doubt. I can't prove that Jax's ashes aren't in here, okay? I'm not able to prove that. I'm also not able to prove that this is Jax's fur in this bag, okay? Those two things I cannot prove. But I can prove to you 
that this is not my cat's promised thumb pr uh, a paw print. Not. This is fake. This is... Something's wrong here. So what does this do to me? It creates doubt. This is garbage. It means nothing to me. The fur and the ashes... Now I have doubt. Now I have feelings like, wait a minute now, wait a minute now. And what's happening is I've got viewers watching this right now. A loved one of yours has passed away. And possibly you're sitting on the couch right now looking up at a, a precious urn that has their ashes in it. And you're wondering what the heck's actually in that thing right now. Pet Angel built on trust. There is no trust. There's zero trust. I've been scammed. I've caught them in a lie three times. And the only explanation that I've been offered is that a technician dropped the ball. How did that technician drop the ball? We will never know. They won't give me any more information. So I won't speculate any longer. I don't know if they cut off Jax's thumb before they did this. I don't know if they mixed this up and gave me another cat stuff or just random stuff. Or if this is just a, a fake print. I'm going to zoom in so you can see how authentic that really is. Okay? That is definitely a real cat's paw. And it's promised by Pet Angel to be my cat's front paw. It's 100% not. I'm heartbroken right now. And I cannot believe that this is how I find out that this company is complete fraud. They operate in a lot of states, by the way. Many of you may already use them. I know Florida, Tennessee, Kentucky, Georgia, Alabama, Texas. I know of those. There might even be more states, but a lot of these pet places have contracts with them and work with Pet Angel, and uh, they do cremations all the time. And unfortunately, I guess I'm the only person in the world so far that can prove that they are a fraudulent scamming company. And I have no idea what the contents of this are, how they're related to Jax. And I'm in a very vulnerable place and it breaks my heart. And I'm, I'm angry, guys. I am angry, okay? So I am making this dedicated video. I'm going to title it in a way where this video can go out there. And the people who work at Pet Angel, those technicians, those workers, those people who claim to be built on trust and to care about animals and to care about their customers, it's not what it seems, apparently. And I have that misfortunate role to tell you and to show you the facts. And it breaks my heart. But it still must be made because I don't appreciate being lied to. And they don't know who they're messing with. They just thought I was some normal person. The guy I was talking to on the phone, the technician, those aren't the people who made the thing that said the YouTube thing on Jax's title. They have no idea that I'm a YouTuber and that I get over a million views a month. I'm still heartbroken over this. I will not let this sour the celebration of Jax's life, even though they have done everything in their power to try to do that to me and to take away my ability to celebrate my cat's life and to memorialize him with his remains. They've tried, but I have some ideas for the future in other ways to honor Jax in my life because this company is a joke. They flat out are. They're a horrible company. Um, if any of you want to reach out to them and tell them how you feel, tell them how much you love Jax, how much of a part of our lives he's been here on YouTube for 11 years, and what they've done to me and how they've hurt me and ruined the, the trust that they have built that they claim to have with their customers and the pets that they love that they take care of. It's all a joke. I want to make this video and then I want to move on, okay? I'm going to be better. I'm going to start thinking about other ways to celebrate Jax's life. And um, as, as for this stuff, I don't know. I don't know. Nothing they can do can change what's already happened. I'm not asking them to. 
I didn't let them refund me, and I didn't order anything extra from their catalog. I am... They got my money. <laughs> they, they, they got caught, though. They got caught scamming me and making false claims. And uh, they did it on a platform which is going to hurt their company. It's going to hurt them a lot, I hope. I want it to. I want people to think twice uh, before entrusting your pet or the promises made by Pet Angel at the next vet place you go to. Other than that, I, 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 there's nothing that they could possibly do to help, help me right now. So that's why this video is being made. I'm not asking for anything. I'm just trying to help protect others out there. And I'm sharing the truth and I'm sharing the facts because everyone knows that Jax has seven front toes before he was cremated. So that's all I want to do right now. Tara, I need you. Come here. Tara is such a sweet girl. She has been sleeping with me at bed at night. She's been playing with the laser pointer. She still doesn't like to be held like this, and she doesn't like to be in my lap. But otherwise, she has been so supportive, and she has been loving this one-on-one -on -one stuff that we've had lately. Um, people have asked me if I'm going to get another cat. <laughs> I mean... I agree with you guys. I am I am very lucky to to have Tara in my life during this this painful part, and uh, she's been she's been putting up with my over snuggling and um anyway anyway I don't want to talk about this anymore. I also had a patron put together this shirt, checks. It's also on the back. Um, she, she designed this and then I put it on a t-shirt and I'm going to come up with some other creative ways to honor Jax later on. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm sorry for. I, I, I needed to get that off my chest. I'm sorry for the company Pet Angel, but you know, eventually you were going to get caught. Eventually, eventually you were going to get caught and then you were going to cover it up by lying two times before I finally said there's, there, there's no way around this. You're busted, you got nothing. And their only response was, we dropped the ball, we'll let you pick anything else out you want, and we'll give you a full refund. And I just said, no, I think I'll make a YouTube video instead. And like I said, move on, right? Yep, I got some cool plans for tomorrow, so I'll see you guys back in two days. I love you all, thanks for all your support. Tara and I will see you in the next one, bye guys.